Hey guys, for the last video of your near vision screening, refresher training, I'm going to be going over what we do for the patients who are 40 and older. These are actually, um, this age group is the most important age group to get the right near prescription for. Um, we call this age group presbyopes um, because they are going through a medical condition called presbyopia where they slowly lose their ability to see up close with time. Glasses can help them. Um, and so we're going to go over exactly how you figure out what they need. Um, you may have noticed this with maybe mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. You may notice that they don't see well up close unless they have um, glasses or bifocals. Um, one thing to keep in mind that's very important for this age group, again, 40 or older, they do not use the same prescription for the distance and up close. So if you're filling out your data log and you write down the age and they're over 40, let's say they're 50, and you write down their distance prescription plus one, let's say in this example, uh, and then you get to their near prescription and you write plus one again, that should be a red flag in your mind. Oh, something's not right here because they're 40 or older, which means the distance prescription and the near prescription, they have to be different. And the way that we figure out what that difference is, is actually entirely predictable. A person's prescription is unique to them. Maybe it's a distance prescription. Maybe it's plus one, maybe it's minus two. We can think of that being as unique to them, but their near prescription is actually predictable and everybody in a certain age group is going to have the same near prescription. Now, because it's relative to their distance prescription, it will end up being unique, but the way we modify it is actually the same for each particular age group. And so I'm going to break that down um, in this video now. And we also made a quick reference guide for you guys. It's called a presbyopia quick guide, again, because presbyopia is the medical term for this age group, that age-related loss of near vision. Um, so you can use this as in the field um, because it can seem a little daunting at first. Um, so this you can pull out in your clinics, just look at it, only takes a few seconds, tell you exactly what to do. I'm confident that once you do it a few times, you, you probably won't even need this. It's that easy. So let's go through an example. So the first step you're going to do is identify the age group on the chart. So we know they're 40 or older. Um, the chart is going to have then some age groups within that, that age range. Um, that, that tell you how to modify the near prescription. So let's just look at the chart here. Let's say we have someone who's 40, let's say we have someone who's 46 years old. Um, so they would be in that 40 to 47 range and I'm gonna take plus one off the chart. I'm gonna write that down for our example here. Plus one. This is my near prescription modification. The next step is to find the distance prescription. So let's say in this example, they were plus one in the distance too. I'm going to write that down. Plus one. The last step is simply to add them. So plus one plus plus one is plus two. And that's all I have to do. You don't need the positive lens refraction kit for this age group. We do want you to grab that plus two reader, have them throw it on, and then check their near visual acuity through it uh, just so we have all that documented. But you don't need to modify that power at all. They're good to go with those glasses. Do remind them though that this is for up close only. So they will not be able to see far away through these glasses. They put them on only when they're looking at something in this range, like looking at a computer or reading their Bible. Something to keep in mind, let's say that they're 
20, 20 in the distance, right? And they get effectively zero or no prescription. You just take the number off the chart. Um, you still can do the math in your head if that makes it easier. But let's say that we had used zero in this example because they were 20, 20 in the distance. You just do zero plus plus one. And we get plus one. So that's a special circumstance which makes things actually even easier. If they're 20, 20 in the distance and their prescription is effectively zero, you actually just take the number off the chart on the quick reference guide and give them those glasses. So we have noticed that you guys haven't been doing this process for this age group, which means that none of those patients have been getting near glasses that are going to work for them. Um, and it's very important uh, for this age group to have those glasses or they're really, really going to struggle to read or do anything up close. So take your quick reference guide with you and we're positive that you'll be doing it accurately in no time.